Hey guys, my name is Eddie. I'm a concept artist working on my own game. The game is called... Actually, I have no idea. But I'm going to show you how I went from concept art to full in-game character in Unreal Engine 5. So you might wonder why I decided to make uh, a game. Actually, the world of game development has always uh, captivated me. The idea of creating interactive experiences that can bring joy and distraction to others is truly like incredible. The combination of various forms of art, such as uh, graphic, sounds, narrative, game mechanics, game design, creates a unique and rewarding experiences for players. Games offer a chance for people to escape the struggles of everyday life and simply focus on having fun. The interactivity of games sets them apart from other forms of entertainment. Players are not simply passive observers but active participants in the experience. They have the power to shape the story, solve puzzles and explore the world. This level of engagement creates a connection between the player and the game that is unlike anything else. So a few months ago, right, I created this painting. And it got me thinking that it would be really cool to make a game with this aesthetic. Okay, so what's the first thing I need to do? Okay, I need to do a character, right? That's easy, right? Right? <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't know. We're gonna... I got this base mesh so I can draw and design the character on top of it. And I got one or two references from Pinterest. I started to draw on top of it. I, I did a few sketches and I settled down on this one. This face is what I call experimenting. So I created the mask of the character inside Blender. I have no idea how to make a game in Unreal, but something that I know is how to copy paste the internet. So I rigged the character using Mixamo. Check out this guy, he has some really cool tutorials about rigging and animation. I also follow this tutorial about Epic Games and was able to make the character move. At this point, I just followed the steps and I didn't know what was going on, but I did it anyways. After that, I needed to test how to make the cloth simulation inside Unreal. I found this tutorial on YouTube, a uh, very good cool tutorial, thank you. You just need to attach the cape mesh to the rig and then export that into Unreal. I export the model to Unreal. What? What is this? What are those frames? Give me more frames, please. Eventually, I realized that the problem was that the physics assets had this massive collision. I didn't know what a physics asset was at that point anyways. With my new renewed confidence, I was ready to redesign the character and I came up with these sketches. I decided on this one and I did a one or two color exploration. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. I like this one. After that, I jumped into Blender and I started modeling the character. I was having a hard time so I was like, ah, maybe I should use ZBrush. And I watched some tutorials on YouTube but oh my god, the UI of ZBrush sucks. It is so bad. And I remember that Blender has some sculpting tools and I was like, Wait a minute. I went into YouTube and I found this really cool tutorial by Philip Nomors. Check it out. Really cool. Thank you. I made this weird looking dog and this is very good face. And I was like, my body is ready. Let's go. Pam, pam, pam. Apply some basics materials. I play with some lights to see how it looks. And this happened. I don't know why this happened, but this happened. Then I learned that even though Unreal has Nanite and geometry supposedly doesn't matter anymore, you still need clean geometry for proper UVs. And I needed the UVs because I needed to paint the character in the style of Arcane. This meant that I basically had to redo the character but using less polygons, which I had no idea how to do, so I turned to YouTube again. So I found this tutorial on Flip Normals and I learned how to do the UVs for my character, which was a pain in the ass. With the UVs ready, now it was time to get my Afro wig and paint the character. I watched some tutorials on Substance Painter and I started creating a small material that I can use as a base to paint on top of. Here is how it works. All you need is a base color, warm and a cool color variation layers, a roughness layer, an edge detection layer, ambient occlusion strokes, gradient from bottom to top, another layer with a little baked light information, a gradient from top to bottom, and a new layer that you can paint on top of. After all of that, I send the model to Unreal to see how it looks. It was looking really nice. After that, I tried to rig the character using Accurate. Move, bitch, get off the way. I watched this tutorial and I started using Mixamo animations for my character. The basic idea is that I need to use a rig from Accurig and the animation from Mixamo. Even though it worked, the animations were looking a little weird. Thankfully, I saw this video and with the help of an add-on called Animate, I was able to fix the animations. I still was not happy with the way the animations look, but I decided to move forward and send the animations to Unreal. And then this happened. I needed the bones to look like this. I couldn't find any solution online. A few days later, I saw this video and with the help of another add-on, I was able to export the rig and the animations. Now I needed to know how to animate the earrings of the mask. With the help of this tutorial, I started to learn how to work with physics. 
offer about the simulations. Who makes written tutorials epic? Come on, we are on a video era. But nonetheless, the tutorial was very good and I managed to make it work. From time to time, I would check how Epic Games make characters from another project. Here is me checking how they did a character from Valley of the Asian. I did some tests to see how the earrings will react. After that, I needed to implement the clock simulation and I was not scared at all. <laughs> <laughs> this time, following this tutorial from Epic Games, I was able to make it work. Using a proxy mesh, you can create the cloud simulation. I'm saying proxy mesh, so you think that I'm smart, but I have no idea how it works. But anyways, I did it. I had some clipping errors, and I decided to fix that later. Now, I need to make the character walk again. So I followed this tutorial for the second time, and I started to understand it a little better. Using the modeling tools in Unreal, I did a couple of cubes to walk around. I worked on the animations a little more, but something happened. I went to Blender to add more animations and I encountered a massive problem. I couldn't copy more animations from Mixamo to my rig. No matter what I did, nothing seems to work. And I was confronted with the reality that I was wasting my time doing it that way. I needed to do everything again. I needed to make a new rig from scratch. But I didn't know how to rig or animate the character either. I don't think that animation would take so much time to do by hand. I took a break from work to work on the game and I felt like I was moving three steps forwards and four steps back. I spent the whole month learning how to rig the character with this course. It's like 800 hours long by the way. It's a very extensive course. I hated every step of it, but I learned how to rig my own character from scratch using very advanced techniques. Here is the final rig. Thank you P2 Design, you saved me. I got an idea. I will make the animations in the style of Into the Spider-Verse so I don't have to clean up the animation graph and save some time. Now it was time to learn the art of animation. With this course from P2 Design, I did some animation exercises and I was feeling confident that I could do it. I started to animate the run cycle of my character and I was looking at the game Rhyme for inspiration. And when I say inspiration, I mean... Here is how the animation looks in Blender. Now I just need to export the animations like I did before and... This one I don't remember how to fix it, so good luck. Now I need to learn how to make hair for Unreal, so I follow this tutorial. And it worked, I think. I think? Oh god, someone help me. Anyway, it works. Now I just need to set up the animations. The cloud simulation with its proxy mesh. I made the character walk. As you can see, the hair is not attached to the head. Now it works, but why is it attached like that to the head? I checked the value of the ancient and realized the hair was done with body simulations, not with hair physics. And it was too late for me at that point. I needed to change the rig again to do that. All right, I fixed it. Don't ask me how. Here is the hair and cloud simulation work. Now it's time to work on the cell shading look. Let's just follow our tutorial, guys. What could possibly go wrong? Why is my character so sad? At this point, I was watching tutorial and how to achieve a good cell shading look in Unreal, but I wasn't able to come up with something that works for what I was doing. The issue was the cell shading was not reacting to the light physics in Unreal, and I didn't know how to fix this, so I gave up. But here are some cool effects. This one was my favorite, but it doesn't react to shadows, so rip. Here are a few more effects. But something I was able to add is this sort of line art effect. Arcane has it, so it has to be a good idea. I expanded the level cubes to walk around like a bird. And after five months of learning and work, this is what I was able to create at this point. After all of that, this five months has told me that I don't have to limit myself from doing too many different things. That I can learn many different skills and that I don't need to be a master at everything to have something at the end I'm proud of. In my next develop, I will be talking about game design and possibly environment art creation. Thanks for watching. If you found this video entertaining, don't forget to subscribe. I plan to do more videos like this for this project.